Hello everyone, within the framework of our engineering project, we have decided to focus on the new hybrid methodologies that are currently used to forecast electricity prices. As you can see on the graph, electricity prices present a very odd and unique behavior that are unobservable in other financial or commodity markets. The four main electricity price patterns um, that are clearly visible are the mean elevation, several types of seasonality, an unconstrained price spikes, and a tremendous volatility. Given these striking features, traditional models are not enough efficient and there is a vital need for hybrid methodology, better capable to deal with the non-linearity, the non-stationarity and the time variancy of electricity prices. In order to incorporate all the significant patterns of electricity prices, we have set up a general hybrid model, including exogenous variable, that combine Welbeck transform and armor egac approaches. As the first step of our forecasting method, Welbeck Transform is used to decompose the original press time series into one approximate series, A3, and three detailed series, D1, D2, and D3, where the former holds for the general trade and the latter illustrate the time varying volatility. It is then important to reconstruct the approximate and the detailed series by Welbeck inverse and in order to duplicate the original series with better statistical properties. For both approximate and detailed series, we applied a combination of GORG and ARMA models the former holding for the variance model and the latter using an mean model. Before proceeding to the three step of our hybrid methodology, the assumption of stationarity should be satisfied for any series. First, the order M and N of the ARMA model are determined by ICAC info criterion and the EGA11 is chosen for uh, the variance prediction. Then the parameters of the variance model are estimated by maximum likelihood and finally, in order to validate the model, the residual must be uncorrelated with a constant variance and following a student t distribution. Finally, we can have an idea of the accuracy of our methodology by computing the moving average percentage error. As you can see on this graph, we have obtained fairly accurate estimation using a rolling forecast over the last 100 days of 2015 for the Latvian electricity market.